This is a short video for my students at CityLit to remind them how to create a simple GUI interface using IntelliJ IDEA. So we're going to start as normal by creating a new project um, and we can pick the defaults for that and the first thing of course is we have to give it a project name so we'll call it my GUI and finish that. So it's created our project folders. I'm going to go into the Project Explorer and uh, navigate down to the source folder, right click and click new as normal. For once now we're not going to click Java class, we're going to go down and create a GUI form. So what this will do is create us a GUI form and a class bound to it. So we are going to call this my GUI my class um, we can change the layout manager if we wish but otherwise we are good we have got here um, now we're in the forms designer we can see the component tree that displays the co components which are on the form um, a property editor which allows us to edit the properties of things on the form and a palette which allows us to put components onto the form. So onto my form, I am going to drag a J text field, a box which will allow me to enter text, a J button, which I am going to use to click to say I want something to happen. And I am going to add a J label which is going to show the results when I've done it. So at the moment in my particular form everything's stacked up. I'm not going to worry too much about how um, pretty or ugly it is. So over here I'm just going to go and do a bit of tidying up on this. So I'm going to give my J panel um, a name. My panel. Nothing like a bit of adventurous naming. Um, I'm going to call the J text field input. I'm going to call the J button button one, but I am going to change the text it displays to say click me rather than button one. And I'm going to go down and select my label and I'm just going to rub it's text out so that when the form loads it doesn't say anything. So here we have lovely little simple thing. Uh, things got proper names, all looks good. Okay, if we go up to the top and click where it says my GUI.java, you'll see that we have some code for it, but unfortunately I'm not seeing my label. This will be almost certainly because I've forgotten to give it a name which I have. So I'm just going to scroll up to the top and I'm just going to call this a result. These, these names, input and result, we're going to use in the code in a very short while. So I now do that. I can now see over here in my component tree, my components. I can see over here, I can see that these components have all been set up. And my next job is to um, build a main method to run this from and to get the form to generate the Java code. So we'll do the, we'll generate the Java code first. So to do this, I'm just going to change some settings. We're going to go up to File, Settings, Editor, GUI Designer. And up here, I'm going to say that I don't want to generate the GUI into a binary class file. I'm actually going to generate it into Java source code. So I'm going to get it to write Java code, which is then going to get compiled with the rest of the code. This will give you a chance to look at the code it writes rather than it just doing it automatically and you not knowing. So I'm going to click OK here. Nothing happens. Um, my next job is to actually give this a main method because this isn't going to do anything. If I just click up here near the top, right click, and do generate, what I'll get is a list of um, methods that um, IDEA can automatically generate for me. So if you've not seen this before, it can generate getters and setters and constructors without you bothering to type them in. 
but the down at the bottom it will go would you want me to um, create you a main method for this form so we go yes please um, the codes created and if you fancy pausing the video at this point you can look at that code but I don't think you'll find anything surprising in there so we've designed a form we've got a main method that will um, instantiate the form we've told idea that I want it to generate the Java generate Java code for me when the forms created so all I should need to do now is go up here run this run my GUI and we'll find that this has now been generated and a pile of new code surrounded by dire warnings about not changing it because it's been automatically created has appeared there you can pause and have a look at this code um, but we'll also see we have it, the codes run and we have our little GUI form with our box in it and a button uh, you'll see we can type text in the box we can click the button but at present absolutely nothing happens because we've not given it the slightest clue about what we want this app to do but we've built the form and compiled it okay so let's um, grab a event by waiting for the button to be clicked and um, then doing something so we're just going to go back to the form designer going to right click on the button and from the menu that comes up I'm going to go create listener we have a wide range of events we can listen for in Java but we're just going to do the really basic one here which is action listener we'll click on that and we've got a little box that says which methods do you want to implement now if we look here we'll see that what we're actually going to do is we're going to use a thing called java.awt.event.actionListener and you, from the I in front of it we can see that this isn't a class it's an interface if you remember our discussion of interfaces from last week you'll remember that an interface is really a class with all of the methods in it um, defined but none of them actually built and the contract we sign with Java when we implement an interface is that we have to build all these methods in fact this has only got one method so we click on this and click OK we will get the method skeleton public void action performed action event E put there and inside there all we need to do is add the code that we want to run when the button is clicked so I'm going to start with uh, a really simple little job here I'm going to go back to my GUI form and remind myself that my J label at the bottom is called result so I'm just going to go back to my code Oops. not close my code go back to my code um, and do result there we go dot set text and we're going to make that go hello we're going to recompile this take a few seconds because we've changed the code this should compile OK. Here's my little box. I'm going to type hi in there. And it's going to say hello to me, but the box has got a little bit small, so we'll need to sort that out in a moment. Um, and in fact, whatever I type in here, whenever I click, uh, it will say hello, because in fact, it's not looking at this text box at all so we'll do a slightly more exciting piece of code that takes this and makes result sex text set text be equivalent to input which is what I called the field get text and we just rub out this hello all looking good we compile this let's pull this down a bit because obviously I need to do a little bit of work on this form design here so 
I type hello in there and I click the button it says hello I type thanks for watching with an A and I click this and it says thanks for watching and thanks for watching and that is how we create a basic GUI form and add a simple event handler to a button.